in every single stage of life, from being a son, from being a, a person who indulges in business, although of course we don't refer to him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a businessman, we understand that throughout his life he was he was uh, he did partake in the acts of tijara. So what I'm trying to say is that every concept of your life, be that as a son, be that as a person of business, be that as a grand grandfather, as a teacher, in every aspect we can take points from the seerah and implement them within our lives. Inshallah. And if we do so with this intention that we are studying this life so we can act upon it, no doubt this itself is a very beautiful way of celebrating his mawlid. And from the ways of attaining his closeness, because this is in essence, I'm sure this is why we have gathered here today. In essence, we have come to try and adopt his qurb. We want to come nearer to him. That love, we want to spark within our hearts. And from the best methods of attaining his closeness, and something which I hope and I, and I pray that even if one, a single person can leave with this intention today, after the few words I'm about to say, this gathering is a success in my eyes. The four, from the foremost ways of attaining that spark in your heart, from the foremost ways of coming closer to him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is by sending peace and salutations upon him. By reciting salawat upon his, his Allah. This is that one act which can change your life. This act of reading salawat, this has secrets. There are so many asrar behind this. People's lives have changed. Miracles have happened through the blessings of spending time sending salawat upon his noble zat. So this is what we should try and intend to do. There are so many ahadis, so many expressing the virtues of sending salawat upon him.